to license S and O produced by Citratopoca Biogen. So tell me please, what is S and what is O? Oxygen. What does oxygen label mean? Oxygen. The nature and the exposed oxygen. The presence of oxygen. Just take down and hemolysis. But in the S, not hemolysis. And those who use the surgical diagnosis. Why? But the S, you don't use in the diagnosis. Why? Not to mean Correct. 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 O and S. O means the toxin produced by the Citratococcus, Citratococcus biogen produced many toxins. But as a part of the identification test, it produces the toxin O, ASO, anti citratolysin O. You will write it ASO, okay? Or you can write it ASLO. You will find it, for example, here, ASLO in the kit. But both is correct. Either ASO or ASLO. O ASLO means oxygen labile. Oxygen labile means this toxin can survive under very low concentration of oxygen. If oxygen concentration is low, this will act. Second is S. We will not talk about the S because he said non immunity is correct. And he said it is stable in the oxygen, we will not talk about this. But you must know at least O and S. So here we, will, we are concerned about ASO. ASO test, it causes that? Demolysis. Okay? It causes that? Yes. ASO, anti streptolysis O, it causes the hemolysis of RBCs. Okay? Correct? So now, so this can be the part, on the basis of this, you can confirm whether my group is. Uh, whether in the, in the uh, blood is there is a ASO is present antibodies or antigens or not so we will see here this is the test so what's the basic concept of this test if patient is having the pyogenic infection okay this means the microbe is inside the body it produces the anti citratolysin O when anti citratolysin O is produced in the body what body will do Cause for measure of antibodies. Yes, there is an immediate immunogenic reaction. So it will produce an antibody. The question is, I think from here you can see it. If antigen present, ASO, it will immediately destroy the blood cells in the body. Okay? But as some of the students said, this is the immunological reaction will come immediately. This means the body has formed the antibodies. When antibodies produce it, anti citratolysin O and to antigen causes the hemolysis. When body produces the anti citratolysin O antibody, it will bind with the antigen and it will stop the hemolysis. It will cause, it will do not uh, cause a. This is the basic principle of ASO test. This is the basic principle of ASO. De ASO test is basically detection of the serum anti citratolysin O antibody in the patient's serum. When patient is having the infection, his body produces the antibodies. So to find this antibody, if we found this antibody present in the patient, this means patient is having the infection of Pyogen. It is ASO. There is a particular value, okay, uh, reaction. It is in the next slide. So the basic principle behind this is, and SLO, streptolysin O, present in group A, streptococci like pyogen in group C and group G also. And the principle is based on, it neutralizes the effect of streptolysin O on red blood cells. Here, this is the principle. ASO. It, it causes the principle that it neutralizes the effect of citratolysin O. The antibody, ASO antibody, mm -hmm. neutralizes the effect of citratolysin O. The antibody neutralizes the effect of the antigen, mm -hmm. ASO antigen, and protects the RBCs from the annihilation. Normal value for this is 200 units. And if it is greater than 200 units, this means there is a recent 
infection. There's a recent infection. And you usually what you do, you put the tubes. One, two, three, four. In all the tubes, what you do? In all the tubes, you have the antigen and antibody, and you put the RBC, wrap it up. RBC, red, red blood cells. And you see here. This is one tube, this is two, this is three, this is four. I am saying how to perform the test. Yeah. How to perform the test. Here, if hemolysis occur, this means ASO is present. Yeah. Acetate will come when you have sufficient antibodies. When you have sufficient antibodies, it will blow off the antigen. There will be the no hemolysis. And this will give you a title. The title is 200. When it goes to 200 greater than, this means there is a recent infection. The steps of the test. You need the tubes, you perform the serial, serial dilution. If anti streptolysis O antibody is present in the patient serum, antigen and antibody it will block each other. And there will it will not act the O antigen it will not act on the red blood cells. <coughs> if antibody is absent, if antibody is absent, there is, no there is no complex formation, no antigen antibody formation. So this will act on RBC to destroy it. Positive test, no hemolysis. Why no hemolysis? Because antibodies are present against the this. And negative test, this means a hemolysis. Negative test means this is present, but there is no antibodies. Okay? The CAMP test, again for the pyrogens. CAMP, do not confuse cyclic adenosine, monophosphate, biochemistry, no. This is Christie, Atkin, Munch, and Peterson. Name of four scientists, academicians, whatever you want to call them. They found a factor, they give it a common name, CAMP factor. They give a common name, CAMP factor. What they see here? Please focus here. This is your blood agar, palate, okay? Right? And what they, those academicians or scientists do, they put the step aureus in center, okay? They put the step aureus in the center of the culture palate. And here they put group B streptococci, okay? And here they put group A. We are concerned about the pyogenin. So group A and group B, we are concerned about the pyogenin, okay? So what they found? They found the hemolysis on the, okay? Beta hemolysis, beta hemolysis on, the, because this belongs to the both microorganisms, pyogenin and agnatitia, both are beta hemolytic. So they found the hemolysis. But this point, they find the more hemolysis. They find the more? They said, why there is more hemolysis? Why there is more hemolysis? What they found? They found extracellular cytolysis compound, a producer by the group A citratococci, which has a similar function of protein to A of staph aureus. So it enhances, makes more, more destruction of the RBCs, and it's produced by, it's shown by the zoom. Effect of step aureus produced by factor step aureus and another factor produced by the group A streptococci here, it produces the enhanced zone of hemolysis. But pyogenes, there is no. In pyogenes, no enhancement. There is no cam factor here. So here you see group B test positive. Citratococci group B test Why There is enhanced hemolysis because group, uh, group B citraptococci it is produces uh, CAM factor. Extracellular cytolysin, cytolytic protein. It binds the antibodies like this. There is the FC region. It binds to the FC region and they found this CAM factor is similar to the protein uh, Produce protein A of citrate pyrococcus aureus. Citrate pyrococcus pyrogenes, 
it's a negative test. In the streptococcus pyogenes, it's a negative test because there is no cam factor produced by the uh, streptococcus pyogenes. And here, it's produced with respect to cam factor. Cam factor has a similar activity uh, uh, to the protein of a streptococcus aureus. This is the reason for cam test, streptococcus is very important. To perform the camp test, you must have the in center, they put the Streptococcus aureus and they put group A on one side, group A is Streptococci and another side group B and to differentiate between the two. Okay? Question? Yes, sir. Streptococcus A and B and C. A is Streptococcus group B. Streptococcus biogen is a group A. Group A negative, sir. Group A is a negative. There is no compact factor. This is a slide, this is marking A, B, and C. This is marking for this A, B, and C. Because Citrophilococcus aureus is not a group C. I don't know. We talk about A and B. Which A and B? Yeah. This is a marking A, B, C. Yes. Do not put your mind here. A is hemolysis. A here. Just labeling. You see the group group B citrapropoca causes enhanced hemolysis. Group B citrapropoca causes enhanced hemolysis. That is shown in the A here. Group B citrapropoca form the enhanced hemolysis. It is shown in the A. Do not confuse this group A and group B. This is just marking A. Okay. So, so cam factor is present in group B here, citrapococcus group B. Okay. This means group B citrapococci, group B citrapococci have the capability to produce the cam factor. Okay. okay, group B. But group A, no. In group A, citrapococci, you find the example of pyogen. So it shows just negative. It shows it's hemolysis, normal hemolysis, but not enhanced. Enhanced is shown in group B. So this becomes a differentiation between group A and group B streptococci. Okay? Yes, sir. So the, the, uh, the, uh, the count factor normally is bonds to the FC portion of uh, immune group G. But in this test, it's bonds to the protein A of, of staph aureus, right? It, it's similar, similar to the protein. Protein A is produced by the staph aureus. And the, this pathogenic factor that is produced by the group B streptococci takes uh, support from the similar protein A of Staphylococcus that we have the two toxic factors. Cam factor, this is the Staph aureus protein A and this is the cam factor of group B streptococcus. Now both these combine, they enhance the, have the more uh, uh, degradation of the RBCs. Here in the blue, there is the step or yes, similar to protein A. Pathogenic factor. What pathogenic factor is? Extracellular cytolysis, cytolytic protein. The cytolytic protein below, it is present in step or yes, and uh, in biogenes, there is no cam factor. Cam factor is only in the group B step of organ. So in which case can you do this test? This test you need to differentiate between group B streptococci and group A streptococci. In group B streptococci, there is presence of cam factor. What is the cam factor? It is a cytolytic protein. Cytolytic that causes a breakdown. What is the group B in this? Streptococci aglactis here. Group B. I think you are confused with the number yeah, yeah, ABC. Yeah. Huh? You change the number. <laughs> yeah. You change the number. Keep this, you know, keep this B and keep this A. Then you will say this is uh, citrapropoca group B. You can say. Put one, two, three. Oh, put one, two, three. Oh, the either. Okay. You can put it over one, two, three. Fine? Fine, yes. This means group B citrapropoci, they produce a cytolytic protein yeah. and at the same time the cytolytic protein of CTF aureus, now it is kind of a double dose. CTF aureus is producing cytolytic protein, uh, group B citrapropoci producing the cytolytic protein. When both these come by higher concentration, more destruction of RBCs. Yeah. In the group A uh, citrapropoci, they do not produce the cytolytic protein cam factor 
only the CTF4 is produced, so there is normal hemolysis. This is in the moon, yet. Again, it's again positive microorganisms. Short chains on the blood agar, we will see. Here now we have to differentiate citrocrop and pneumonia and veritans. How to differentiate between them? This is uh, microscopic observation. Once we see, it's like this. Under the microscope, when we see, okay? This is <coughs> alpha hemolysis. I already explained what is the alpha hemolysis, okay? Why it is green? Here it is like this. Because in the previous pyogen you have seen complete clear zones. Here there is a partial and green in color. Citrepropopin pneumonia on the left, on the right. This slide is particularly to inform about the beta hemolysis and alpha hemolysis. Complete hemolysis and partial hemolysis. This is the part understanding. At least this will not come for the exam, okay? Because it's very simple. Yeah. Uh, differentiate between pneumonia and the pyogenes. So now veridens. When we talk about the veridens, where well, you have they they are usually found in the dental caries, veridens. But sometimes if they get the opportunity, they can go and in the blood stream and they can go and rights, particularly the linings of the heart, even sometimes affect the damaged valves of the heart also. Very dense is green. green. Alpha hemolysis. Mm -hmm. Pneumonia is green. Alpha mm -hmm. hemolysis. And there are no grouping in these microorganisms, okay? Based on the lensified classification. It was a Rebecca, that lady, he make, she makes them in the groups. But in pneumonia and the viridens, there are no groups, but they belong to the they can show the alpha hemolysis on the blood agar. Now we have to differentiate between pneumonia and the viridens. On the blood agar, it's very difficult because why? Both alpha hemolysis. So we might, we need some test that can prove it's a viridin, it is a citrocopic pneumonia. So let's go. First, differentiation between citrocopic pneumonia and the viridens. What are the viridens? Viridens are number of citrates in the viridens, like. I have put it somewhere, few Newtons and this, uh, yeah, Newtons, one of the examples, mites, another example, in the very dense, in very dense streptococci. So let us see here, autolysis, first differentiation. Autolysis, first differentiation between streptococci pneumonia and streptococci very dense. Second, biosolubility test. Third, after, again, sensitivity test. Here, sensitivity tests are very important. Here you see the pyogen, citrapropocci pyogen is best stress sensitive, other citrapropocci are best stress resistant. Yeah. That's why they belong to the same group, okay? Yeah. Similarly here, citrapropocci pneumonia and the viridens belong to the same alpha uh, hemolytic uh, based on the uh, hemolysis yeah. of the blood based on the, uh, the yeah. same class, but here on the basis of the optical sensitivity and bio test we can see the difference. What is the autolysis? Yalla, yalla, autolysis means cell digestion. <laughs> okay? I can tell you something that somebody is in the desert or somewhere, sometimes he eats his own flesh, it is something like this. There are some animals, when, uh, no, one of the best examples is, it's not related to the it's subject, it's okay. it's the octopus, you are an octopus? Yeah, yeah. Octopus, when the mother lays the eggs, when mother lays the eggs in the water, she should remain without food for three, four months. In order to preserve the eggs and uh, the babies, she eats her own organs till then because there is no food available. She does not want to move. So similarly, not similarly, it is like this case, Citrepropoca pneumonia, when it is grown on a cultured plate for a longer time, the studies and the research have told us that this microbe become distressive. So what it starts, it starts the autolysis. Destruction of its own cells. Okay? So, autolysis is shown in the citrapropocci pneumonia. But, very dense are very clever, they, be, they do not go for the autolysis. Okay? They are not. They, are, they, are, uh, they do not like autolysis. Okay? But, citrapropocci, it has been, many studies were found. Why microbe go for the autolysis? What was the need? 
they said it's just because of citrus or something, because to find the citrus in the micro, which is very difficult, okay? He can, micro cannot explain, I am in a citrus pusher, I cannot do that. But based on some works have been found, that if citrus the micro make its uh, environment difficult, uh, then, then it go for the autolysis. But very dense, do not go. Now we will see the biosolubility bio test and the optogen. What is the biosolubility in the test for the principle? Biosol selectively, selectively lies. Lies means break down. It broke down the citrapococcus in pneumonia when added to either broth or to culture. But viridans do not. Biosolid salts do not affect on the viridans. Biosolids affects on pneumonia, pneumonia, uh, citrapococcus pneumonia, but do not affect on viridans. Either if you put a tube test or the agar test. Here you have seen in this picture, this is the citrapococcus, this is the citrapococcus, this is the mites, but this is pneumonia, okay? Yeah. Both are alpha hemolytic, both. Yeah. both. But, but, when you add the bile salt, it causes the lysis. You are clear to you, okay? Yeah. Here, the, this means microbes are as such, no destruction of the microbes. But here, microbes are destroyed. So, very dense are. Not affected by the bile. Yeah. Pneumonia are affected by the bile. Bile, this is called the bile solubility test. Why solubility? Because it becomes soluble. It seems dissolved. Yeah. Dissolved means it causes the destruction of the bacteria, pneumonia, and for the clearness here, you know, clear fruit, and here it is like opaque. And similarly, this is these are the colonies of the pneumonia, okay? And you put the bile as such, bile salt. Yeah. And you see all the qualities are dissolved. Now give me the example of one biosol. This is the biochemistry question. Okay. Give me the example of a one biosol. Okay, Tamir. Biosol. We use biosol. Give one example of biosol. Okay. GIT block next to you. Urea. Sodium glycolate, sodium torcolate, those are the biosol. Okay. Those are the bile. We have a bile in our body, okay? Yeah. Bile salts, bile causes the emulsification of the fat. How? Because the presence of the salts in the bile, sodium glycolate, sodium torcolate. So if you bring those type of salts and give it to the pneumonia, it will immediately, you, on the agar, dissolve the colony. If you put it on the tube, it will, yes. The mites are similar to very dense. Same or? No. Correct. I said mitis, citrapococcal mitis is a very dense, okay? Very dense citrapococcal. Other names. Very dense is a common name, yeah. then comes the mutants, citrapococcal mutants, citrapococcal mitis. Uh -huh. Examples, okay? Very, it's a common name between very dense and the citrapococcal pneumonia. Why they are in the pneumonia and the citrapococcal very dense is the one group because they are alpha hemolytic microbe. Okay? And the lower uh, picture is a uh, blood picture, right? Huh? Blue is a, of course it is a culture, either in the uh, blood culture, either on the normal culture. You have citrapococci, but once you, uh, pneumonia, once you put the bile salt, dissolve. Dissolve means bio, this is called the biosolubility test. What is the principle of this test? The principle of this test, it lies the cells. This is the principle of this Either on the culture, on agar, or slash, on the broth. Abo is a broth example, blow is a a, a culture example. Mitis is the example of very dense citrapococci. Abo, abo, right. Yeah, yeah. Mitis, okay. Again, mutants also the, comes in the very dense. Citrapococci, very dense, bile insoluble. So, very dense. Either you talk about the mutant, mutants either you call the mitis. Fine? Fine. Okay? You are now of them? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Last slide. Now one more test, optogen. This is the another test. Citrapococci pneumonia. This is one more blood agar. And here you have the citrapococci pneumonia, okay? This is, optogen is a disc. Optogen is an antibiotic disc and it is sensitive. We have put here two, not me, by this citrapococcal pneumonia, this is optogen disc, 
OBT is written, but you cannot see. Even I cannot see from here. This is the operating disk here and here. You see there is no growth, right? No growth, no growth. This means to differentiate between the citrapococcus pneumoniae and the viridans, this is one more method. If I have muscle and bile salts are not available, you can do direct the operation sensitivity test. Citrapococcus pneumoniae will be sensitive. And resistance. Uh, resistance. Uh, uh, resistance. Uh, resistance. Uh, resistance. Uh, resistance. Uh, pneumonia. This is pneumonia, yeah. Oh, it's, you see the written citrapococcus pneumonia optochain sensitive. You talk in the right? Maybe you can put it over there also. Maybe, yes. And second here, very dense, they are the registered. And there is a future when citrapococcus pneumonia becomes resistant to optogen, then this test will be no more valid. Okay? But till now it is valid. Optogen test, differentiation between pneumonia and the viridans. First, autolysis. Okay? Pneumonia and citrapococcus pneumonia become disturbed because of exams and he start autolysis. Okay? And viridans do not. Second, biosolubility test. Pneumonia, 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 do not affect on them. This means yeah. microbes survive under high salt concentration by under, under the bile salts. Okay. This is sorry. This is uh, citrapococcus pneumonia. Optogen uh, sensitive. Yeah. And, uh, there is, there is so sensitive. this is the then okay that's good you understood thank you so much this is the summary yeah. C uh, differentiation between the citrapococcus first citrapococcus biogens it's a group A citrapococcus you know based on length spike classification Rebecca group A hemolysis beta passive sensitive. CAMP factor not found in group A, it is found in group B. B. So can test in the heat. Okay, understood? Yeah. Because there was a confusion. Yeah. I said A, B, C, and you thought it is in group. So make it very clear. Now pneumonia. There is no grouping classification apply applicable for this. It is alpha hemolytic. Biosoluble, autogen sensitive. Very dense. Grouping not applicable. But again alpha hemolysis, but not biosoluble, autogen mm -hmm. registered. This is the last slide. This is the gram negative bacteria. It looks like spirochete, okay? And to find this microbe, you can go for the dark brown microscopy and you will find it if this microbe is present or not. Culture, I did not put here a culture picture. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, you can ask to each other, not to me, okay? <laughs> because I tried my best to do the explanation. Anyway, do you have the questions? Please go ahead.